Warning, the following contains content intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, peeps, and welcome back to another Before Episode chat with me, your host, Zod19. We're diving right back into uh, Final Fantasy, and we're going to see about uh, continuing on and hopefully getting something accomplished this episode. Hopefully something important. All right. Oh, my. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Delicious. Turn the dark side back on. And let's get back to Matoya's cave. It's a long trek through the abyss. We're almost halfway through this chunk of the uh, main story quest for Heaven's Ward, and once we do get complete with that, uh, or complete the end of that, uh, we'll be looking at having finally completed the Heaven's Ward storyline, which is fantastic because it means I can immediately start uh, throwing together uh, the animal weapon. And I can start the the arduous journey from the end of Heaven's Word to the beginning of Stormblood. <laughs> and we can finally catch up with the uh, the title of this series. Uh, as far as doing the Rathalos hunt uh, here on Final Fantasy, I'm struggling it a bit. I haven't been doing as much grinding as I probably should, mostly because a lot of things have been going wrong lately. Lots of hospital trips, lots of early mornings, lots of early nights, kid pooping everywhere all the time. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Oh well. Hey, Matoya. I take it you found the tube. Well, let's see it then. Um, uh, okay. On Etheric Convergence. Research compiled by Matoya on a device known as the Etheric Converter. Thank God it's not a, uh, Twilight fanfiction. It did sparkle, though, which gives me cause for concern. Hey, this is alright. Stoner, boy! Put down whatever you're doing and come here. Creed has returned with the tomb. Thank the gods. But another minute under Master Matoya's exacting supervision and I would have certainly lost my mind. Or mayhap merely my temper. Some things never change indeed. Well, I for one appreciate the exacting supervision. In the short while we have been here, I feel I have gained a far better understanding of arcane entities than I did during my entire time at the studium. Should the opportunity present itself, I should very much like to employ this knowledge for the betterment of mankind. Create a new variety of carbuncle, perhaps. Don't get ahead of yourself, boy. Louis Soir's grandson or no? It'll take another decade before you, under me before you can call yourself a scholar. And it yield more than that to make you a scholar worth a damn. As you may have gathered, Master Matoya is not so easily impressed. Uh, indeed. Um, so, uh, Creed has returned with the tome, has he not? Shall we examine it? Oh, now you guys notice my presence. Thanks. I appreciate that. Jerks. What else you gotta say? An eye for Ether. Matoya's gaze is firmly fixed upon her tome. Please be a cutscene with voice acting. Please be a cutscene with voice acting! I had not oh, thought thank God. to behold this tome again. Okay. Zippity there. zap. It is deciphered. Now your friends should be able to make sense of the contents. Well, thanks. That said, it's one thing to understand the workings of the etheric converger, and another to actually make it work. 
You do realize how much ether is required. Nope, I'm just Sid an idiot. He's keenly aware of the energy dilemma. His airship is by no means large, and it can only bear a limited quantity of crystals. If only we had white orosite in the etheric siphon. Alas, Minfilia is missing along with both artifacts, and Moonbreeder is gone. Would that there were another ready wellspring of energy for us to draw upon. <gasps> Why did it not occur to us before? Gasp! I don't know! Maybe you should tell us! We already have what we need! The Eye! It oh. has been drawn ether into itself for as long as the Great Worms have lived! It is a veritable wellspring of energy! Hmm... It might just suit our needs. But is this energy something that can be harnessed at will? Good question. I believe so. With the aid of the Azure Dragoon of Ishgard. Then it is settled. Let us return to the Holy See at once. I'm all for that. Stola, wait. When did the light fade from your eyes? I might have known that it would not escape your notice. It has been this way since I returned from the life stream. An after effect of the teleportation magic I invoked, most like. They are called forbidden spells for a reason. What were you thinking, girl? I have no regrets. I but did what was necessary to preserve the light of hope, to keep my promise to Minfilia. Besides, it afforded me the rare opportunity to wander the ether, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I need not tell you that it consumes your very life force to see by sensing the ether around you. Take care of yourself. Do you hear me? I will, Master Matoya. And thank you. Okay, finally. Jesus. Hey, off now. Thanks to your customary heroic efforts, we now possess the knowledge to build an etheric ram. All that remains is to so uh, secure its energy source. Let us hasten back to Ishgard and consult Sir Emmerich regarding the eye. Okay. Why, we couldn't have just said that in the cave. I don't know. Back to... Uh, foundation, yes. At the congregation of our knights so holy, most heavenly. Whatever. They're not dark knights. That is certainly for certain. Okay, sprint! Never mind, teleport over there because that's quicker. <laughs> okay. Here we are. I wonder if that was actually quicker. I have no idea. Probably will never know. What do you got to say? Ah, you've returned! Sir Emmerich, I am pleased to see that your recovery proceeds apace. May I introduce you to a fellow scion of the Seventh Dawn and Archon of Charlene. My lord, pray 
pray that you excuse me for foregoing due pleasantries, but we seek your counsel regarding the etheric realm. Though we now possess the knowledge to build such a device, we yet lack an appropriate source of energy with which to power it. We believe, however, that Ishgard may possess the solution to our problem. You need not apologize, my lady. Full eager am I to learn of your progress. Please, tell me of this energy source that you believe we possess. Oh, you know, the eye from a dragon. You know, the glowy thing of evil. And you are certain that the eye can lend, lend its power to Master Matoya's etheric converter. At Astinian's command, yes. Very well, I shall speak with him. My thanks, Sir Emmerich. Nay, my friend, it is I who should thank you, as should every Ishgardian. You labor in our name, with nary a care for your own safety. That's not true. I care about my safety quite a bit. That's why I wear plate mail. Let us speak with Sid. He will doubtless be eager to begin work on the etheric ram. Yes. Let him finish so we can ram things. With a ship? Indeed. Alright. Go to the airship landing. You would think he'd be at the Sky Steel Manufactory. No. Alright, it's um below the archaeological. There's something, 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 something to do with astrology. Uh, I guess he's down this way. Ah, oh, there he is. I was looking in the completely wrong direction the whole time. What? What the heck? Huh. How you doing, Sid? Ah, you're back. The preliminary work on the Enterprise is more or less finished. Tell me you found a way to build the etheric ram. Greetings, Sid. It has been a while. She gives in the book. This tome contains the fruits of my former master's research on a device known as an etheric converter. Verger, our ram will operate on the same self principle. Ah, where are my manners? Put a toy like this in my hand and I go off into my own world. Gods, it's good to see you. You're bearing a gift besides. A very distracting one, if I might add. If I didn't know better, I'd think it was my name's day. But there will be time for tearful reunions later. I'll make a start on the tome right away. So long as I have a grasp of the fundamentals, I should be able to knock something together. Which leaves the small matter of the energy source. We believe we have found a solution to that problem as well. Yep. A badass in broken crimson armor. Why haven't you fixed your gear yet, man? There's repairers all over the place. Pray, forgive me for my lateness. Ho oh, ho! Still as evil and powerful as always. The power of the eye is not to be drawn upon lightly. But I believe we have sufficient cause to do so. Right? So this is the fabled eye. By the twelve. It seeds. Tis a wonder such power can be contained, much less controlled. Boys, our work, our friends have kindly provided all the ingredients. Let's see if we can't make something out of them. Not all the ingredients. You heard the chief. We're not resting till the Ethereum crab is operational. Not one wink of sleep. Ugh. 
Oh, mumble, 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 in cart chuckabo. Okay. Alright, Alpha Noah, what do you gotta tell? What do you gotta tell me? Hour of departure. Alpha Noah has a final task for you before departing for Azizla. Given the danger of the task that lies before us, I think it only right that we take a moment to bid our friends and allies farewell. Her last Sid requires my assistance with Master Matoya's rather singular writings. Might I entrust the task of visiting those who will remain behind to you? Um, okay. I don't remember becoming your errand boy. How you doing, Emmerich? So the hour is nigh. Would that I could join you in the coming battle, but with my wounds, I fear I would only be a burden to you. In consorting with the Asians and availing himself of primal powers, my father has made an enemy of all that is good and right in the world. Do whatever you must to end his madness. May the fury watch over you. Okay. Uh, Lucia at the Night's Most Heavenly, Dataru at the Forgotten Night, and Hilda in the Broom. Okay. Well, let's speedily on up over here. Go to the Forgotten Night, knock out two at the same time, and then go to the Broom. she is just hanging out like always in the same exact spot you know you're gonna wear a hole in the ground when you just stand in one place this is it then go well my friend I shall pray to the fury for your preservation mayhap you think it strange that a daughter of Garlean should pray I do not blame you I used to think it passing strange myself but that all changed when I discovered something dearer to me than mine own life. Thereafter, praying seemed to be the most natural thing in the world. Prayers are born from heartfelt thee. In manipulating the people's beliefs for his own twisted ends, the Archbishop makes a mockery of their very existence. It cannot be born. Damn right. feel bad for those people that are completely stuck in cutscenes and can't move for like 20 minutes. Alright. Woohoo! Hey Tatar. How you doing? With your goofy, goofy hat. With a big ol' heart on it. That's adorable. So you're off to feast the Archbishop then! Please be careful and watch over the others, will you? We've lost too many friends as it is! Some may yet return to us, but I can't bear to lose anyone else! I just couldn't! I realize it's asking a lot, but you're the strongest person I know, and I don't, I don't think there's anything you can't achieve if you put your mind to it. So please, whatever else happens, keep everyone safe! That's my job. And I do it with almost a smile. Maybe more of a grimace. Like a mixture between constipation and consternation. As if worried at any moment I might poop my pants from holding my ba myself back so hard to not slap every person I meet upside the head. Like, why can't you handle this shit yourself? Then again, if they could handle it themselves, I wouldn't have to be doing this, so... Oh boy. How you doing, Hilda? Well, if it isn't my old friend Creed, off to face the Archbishop and his cronies, is it? I'd love to go and give those bastards a good walloping myself. That sneak cherry birds, especially. But I've got to stay here and keep an eye on things. With the Archbishop gone, some of the old poor folk might get it in their heads to do something stupid, like storming the pillars. 
but blood won't get us what we want. And I need to be around to remind them of that, in case they forget. You know, by shooting off their kneecaps. No need to worry about us. Anyway, I'll work with Sir Emmerich to preserve the peace. You just concentrate on settling the score with the Archbishop, eh? Aye. Now I gotta go to Fortone Manor. And speak with some people about some stuff. And things. Ah, uh, the last vigil. Let's see what Edmund has to say. I feel so awkward around the guy now that, you know, my bro has died. Welcome, Master Rose. Shall I show you inside the manor? Indeed. You're the only one that can even open up the doors anyways. Keeps telling me I'm not awesome enough. Whatever that means. How you doing? Master Rose, how good of you to pay me a visit. You gonna be voice acted? No. It feels as if it was only yesterday when we first met here in this chamber. You came to us as fugitives seeking asylum. And now you bear the hopes of our nation upon your shoulders. Yeah, funny how that works. That's... He would not have told you, but when Horsophon begged me to accept you into our household, he described you as hope incarnate. At the time, I assumed that he was waxing lyrical as he was his wont. But I have come to see that he simply spoke the truth. You are hope. A shining beacon that shall guide the people of Ishgard through the raging snowstorm. Uh, but... Oh, man. A memento. Were my son here, he would have wished to fight by your side in the battle to come. Take care, my friend, and return to us. Okay, I will. Damn it, just when I get about to bitching about things, somebody gotta go and make me tear up inside. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. I'm supposed to be a hard ass. What the crap? Go to the airship landing. The Athenium Astrologicum. Astrologicum? Sure. Astrologicum. Eventually I'll be able to pronounce that correctly. Just in time for me to go on to Stormblood and never have to pronounce it again. Yay! Alright, Alphano, I talk to people. Count Edmund bequeathed to you Lord Horsifon's shield. A noble gesture. It's not what I said, but okay. Glad you knew about that. We bear the hopes and dreams of many souls. Let their faith in us be a source of strength and courage as we face our remaining trials. I Hope it kindled. That gave me a title, didn't it? Yep. Under Archon. <laughs> the first flight of the Excelsior. Oh my god. The game will soon be afoot, and Alphano is keen to assemble the players. Work on the Enterprise is nearly complete. Let Yashtola know to make ready. I. Um. Oh, there she is. Why are you way over here? Hey, we're about to leave.
Until but recently, the Ishgardians have kept their doors firmly shut to outsiders. But thanks to you, we have found in them stout allies with whom we may fight to secure the future of the realm. Truly, you are the beacon of hope towards which all men are drawn. Women, too, apparently. Spare us the hyperbole. Tis not for praise that we fight. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? You still haven't fixed your armor. Oh? In light of all we have achieved, I felt it only meet to express my gratitude. <laughs> all that we have achieved? <laughs> Spoken like a true outsider. Until the war is over, we have achieved nothing. Uh, he's not wrong. The coming battle is a chance to excise the root of this conflict. And by my hand, it shall be done. Then, you may speak of achievement. He's such a hard ass. <laughs> Twas not mine intent to make light of your struggle. If I have given offense, then I apologize. But if I may speak freely, you would do well to be wary of the eye. Even now, it burns with insatiable hatred, watching unblinking for a sign of weakness. Should you falter for so much as a moment, it will surely consume you. Save your concern. I will consume the eye ere I let it consume me. Ooh. You're gonna have it with a little bit of sweet and sour sauce? And some bok choy? Maybe a little bit of haberdashery? Oh, hey, Twelve be praised. Thou hast not yet set forth. Across sand and snow have I journeyed, that I might deliver this gift unto thee. Oh! White or a sight. But whence did it come? To mine amazement, it lay hid amongst Moonreader's last effects. Twas but blind chance or providence that I did hap to spy it. Let no man claim that my late friend Air erred for lack of foresight. In the place whither thou goest, servants of darkness do lie in wait. Pray, give unto me thy pledge that thou wilt strike them down and avenge our fallen comrade. Oh, of course I will, man. Everyone who stands in my way will get a firm kick to the ass. Let's finally get to Azizla, Afinod. Good God. Let us go, Creed. Azizla awaits. Yeah, damn right it does. Let's get moving. I gained 19,440 experience. Jesus. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. Please be voice acting. Ah, excellent timing. We've just finished our work on the Enterprise. She's so much improved, I've decided to give her a new name to suit. The Enterprise Excelsior. Or simply the Excelsior, if pressed for time. Why do I imagine Stan Lee every time he says Excelsior? Once again, she'll carry Eorzea's protectors into battle. Damn right. I can do no more than see you off with prayers for your safety and success. Yet know that wheresoever you may go, my son's spirit goes with you. May the fury grant you strength. Or at least may she stand out of my way so I can kick everyone's own asses at my own pace. Good God. Oh, what the hell? Why is everyone showing up now? Return to us. All of you. Uh, fine. 
was thinking about taking a vacation after this, but okay. Enterprise Excelsior, engage. Beam me up, Scotty. Wait, what? And off we go. My question is, how did he remember to come back in this direction? Jesus. This is it! Get ready! Uh, dude, there's nothing to grab onto. Eye of mine enemy! Render unto me thy power! Whoa. Ah. Oh, that's the... Okay. Giggity! The ship has sprouted its red no. rocket. You will not claim me. I am the master. Big shield like virginity. One prick, all gone. <laughs> Boom. We're through. The Well. Oh, the Garlean theme. These pricks were just lying in wait like, Ooh -hoo -hoo, I see you have broken the shield. I shall now follow you. Like some kind of uh, freaking megalodon waiting to swallow the minnow. Run away! Chief, we've got an Imperial battleship on our tail. And it's bleeding massive. Right. Oh my! Damn it! The bastards were waiting for us to open the door for them! Of course. Because it wouldn't be a plot without a twist. I'm gonna try to shake them! Hang on to something! There's nothing to hang on to! You psycho. No loop-de-loops. Oh, how cute. Ah, shit. She won't take much more of this. Who would have guessed? Are we going to get a full cinematic cutscene now? The time is come to use Heidlin's gift. Yes. Much blood has been spilled in my name. And for what? For a false cause that I created for want of the warmth of companionship. Saint Shiva. Praise Felga. 
Pray forgive this fool. But even now, I cannot let go of my dream. My dream of a tomorrow in which no child need freeze alone in the snow. Hey, it's Race Belger. Once again, pressing my, my wife. Shameful. Whoa! What the crap? He's not impressed. it off course. She's dead. Farewell, warrior of light. And thank you for showing me the way. No! Why are you upset? What the hell, kid? Just because she does one good thing does not excuse all the innocent people she murdered. This ether. It was a crystal of light. Oh. She too was one of Hydaelyn's chosen. I forget that you weren't here for all of this, so you didn't exactly know that beforehand.
fare you well, my lady. Oh, Astinian, don't fall for that. You don't like the bad girls. Get yourself a nice little housewife. Who's timid and shy and all that fun stuff. You don't need no lady who goes on one-sided genocides. That's not for you. No, no, no. That's not for you at all. Finally! Jesus. Well, this place is cool as shit. Look at that. How's it going, Sid? Whew. I didn't know about you, but I'm glad to be back on solid ground. Even if said ground is floating in the sky. When the Imperial battleship appeared, I honestly thought we were finished. And we would have been, had your friend not arrived when she did. I would not call her a friend. Twelve grant her mercy. Brief though our time together was, he said I was a true friend. A gentle soul. Who fought for her beliefs? She... She would have made a fine scion. No. No, she wouldn't have. You stop that nonsense. What is a scion but one who fights for our cause? Our hopes survive thanks to her sacrifice. Let that be enough. No! She is not a scion. Get the hell over it, guys. Let's get moving. We got shit to do. Yet I cannot help but wonder. How came she to know of our presence here? From Race Velger, I would wager. He will have felt my channeling of the Eye's power. It would seem they were able to make peace with each other in the end. Huh. She gave her life because she believed in us. We owe it to her to see our mission through. I don't know what you guys are on about. We would have made it just fine. Just fine! See that dome structure further in? Let's make our way there. Alright. Oh, I can summon my chuckle here. Nice. Now that is a cool Aetherite. That is a very cool Aetherite. Look at that. Nice. Woo! I get turned to the Aetherite. Alright. There's Sid. Deactivated terminal. Okay. How goes it? The yeah, Isle Sentinels don't seem to frequent this area. We should be safe here. Let's talk strategy, shall we? Okay. Systematic exploration. Sid looks like a man with a plan. First of all, in the interests of, interests of efficiency, I suggest we make this place our base camp. We can coordinate the search for the Archbishop from here. I have no objections. Now that we stand upon Azizla, I am struck by the vastness of this isle. We must needs be methodical if we are to find our quarry. Good. Now, unless I'm mistaken, this used to be an airship landing, and a major one at that. From what I know of Allegan design, there should be a terminal nearby that's linked to the isle's operational heart. If we can find such a terminal... We should be able to learn something of the Archbishop's whereabouts. Let's split up and look for it. Uh, you mean the thing off to the side that I found on my way over to you? It's literally like right... Ugh, he just walks away. It's like they can't hear me, or something. I'm not some silent protagonist, you douches. I'm not the link of this game. God damn it. The Marood! <laughs> the Marood! Most of it's technology from Allegan relics! 
If we can find the terminal, I reckon we can get it operational! Biggs, your voice is getting more high-pitched every time I see you. Oh, come on, Minkar, somewhere. Get out of the way. What ungodly vessel must the Alligans have built to warrant so vast a landing? <laughs> oh, don't even question that, man. I know the answer to that, and it's not pretty. Gotta run all the way over here and talk to uh, the Stinian. Only run all the way back because that deactivated terminal is the thing that we need. Huh. Who would have thought? Machines are beyond my kin. I shall leave it to others to find this terminal. Of more concern to me are the dragons I sense nearby. Oh. Okay. There's dragons near here. That's not a good sign. If they were on the isle, that makes them ancient. And supposedly, the older a dragon gets, the more powerful it gets to... Ah, uh, he finally found the deactivated terminal that I friggin' noticed on the way over to him the first time. How's it going, Sid? Nothing? Damn it. There's just this terminal, then. But it doesn't respond to anything I do. Any bright eyed ideas, Winch? Which? He was here just a moment ago. No, oh, don't tell me he's wandered off. I'm sorry, Creed, but could you go help... Uh, go search for him? Absent-minded as he is, I worry that he strayed beyond the landing area and made friends with the local sentinels. I don't know about friends. He's probably being force-fed to him right now. But I guess I can look for him? I don't... I don't really care to do so. But I suppose I can try. For a minute, at least. I'll be around somewhere. Ah, oh, there's the destination. Probably gonna hear him screaming for his life. Why does this look like something was dragged through here? Ah, oh, god damn it! Will I be able to actually pull off using Quietus? I really want to see what it looks like. I still have not been able to use it, even though I got it in the last episode, which was almost a week ago. I'm gonna fight one more, just so I can see what it looks like. I got 12 minutes left, I can screw around for a few minutes. Alright, here it comes. That was interesting, I guess. It was a little more anticlimactic than I expected, but, you know, that's what happens when you expect things. Since I only get black blood from, like, two or three actions, it takes a while to get it. It looks like something's been dragged through here, and that kind of uh, is disconcerting. Don't you aggro on me. Oh. Owie! Oh. Wedge, are you alright? Uh, I'm fine, Chief. I just, uh, I tripped, that's all. Fool of a Lalafell, what were you thinking, coming here on your own? Death by overwork is one thing. Death by stupidity is quite another. <laughs> so you don't mind if he dies, just as long as he overworks himself in the process. Nice. Uh, I'm sorry, Chief, but I think I found something. What is this, the wreck of a sentinel? This is no wreck, Chief. She's still operational. Oh, it's a she, is it? Uh, I don't think you should kick ancient technology that looks like a damn bomb. 
See? I think you're an idiot. Trying to kill us all. Blip! Initializing! Performing! Diagnostics! Blip! Diagnostics complete! To proceed, please agree to terms of... Uh, and conditions of use. Damn it. Uh, excuse me? I suppose? Thank you! To register as a user, please state your name. I'm Wedge, and that there is Creed. Beep. User registration complete. Welcome to Aziz Law, Master Wedge, and Master Creed. I am Guidance Node GL1. Okay. Uh, it, hey, we're... What? Don't thumbs up at me, you psycho. That could have been a nuclear bomb. And you just kicked it. Ugh. I swear, I'm surrounded by idiots. Search for witch. Huh. Ugh. This isn't quite what I had in mind, but it might just serve. Wedge, bring the node this way, would you? There's something I'd like to try. Node, I need a status report on the facility. What the chief says! Oh, there we go. And the thing's working again. Yes, that's it! Good girl! Ah, uh, here we are. Hmm, not much of note. It appears someone recently reactivated Helix, which is in this area. That's probably what we're looking for. Reactivated, you say? Yeah. By the Archbishop, I'd wager. I dare say he woke the place up when he used the Vanu's key. Are there any other people in the facility? If so, where? Uh, you understood that? Okay. Let's see here. On the flagship. That's the central island. I'm seeing positive readings within the Ethereochemical Research Facility and the Fractal Continuum. Oh, those sound cool. And what have we here? Intruders detected in the Gamma Quadrant. Defense system engaged. Our Imperial friends, I suspect. I hope they enjoy the defense system. But what of the Archbishop and his cronies? Uh, what might offer an indication? Ah, how about this? Which area has recently consumed the most energy? Somewhere called... Triad Control. Inside the research facility. Ah, that doesn't sound safe. Usually you don't want to deal with the Japanese Yakuza. And what manner of place is that? That's where a lot of gangsters hang out. It is, and I quote, a regulation facility for the Warring Triad test subjects. Yeah, see? You don't want to deal with the Yakuza. Just stay away from that. And that's all it says. The rest of the information is only accessible to users with consular privileges. I mislike the sound of this, which leads me to believe that is indeed the place. Yeah. My uh, hero senses are tingling. I am inclined to agree with Yustola. Whatever it is that the Archbishop seeks, it is likely to be there. That settles it then. Let's find a way to cross over to the flagship. 
Okay. Ought to be fun. Probably not gonna meld any of my gear until way late game. In node we trust. The Fiat's old guidance node is patiently awaiting instructions. Blip. Greetings, Master Creed. Is there something you wish to know? Yeah, where the hell am I supposed to go? Uh. How to reach the Ethero Chemical Research Facility. Yep. Requesting access to the Ethereal Chemical Research Facility. Access granted. Generating route. Yep. Route generated. Commencing guidance to chosen destination. Please be aware that the designated route may take you through restricted sectors, and the Isle's defense systems may attempt to terminate you. Be kindly reminded that, in accordance with the terms and conditions of use, you and your party assume all risks of damage or injury, including death, that may occur en route to your destination. Wow. Some FNAF stuff going on right there. Jesus. And she vanished into thin air. How am I supposed to follow you if I can't see you, lady? Ugh. Hey, Alpha, no. Let's get moving. Can the guidance node be trusted? I know not, but we have few other options. Let's see it where it leads us. Creed, Yustola, Listinian, we four shall proceed to the research facility. Sid, the Excelsior is our sole means of escape. Pray remain here and have her ready to be depart, ready to depart at a moment's notice. You say sole means of escape? I can teleport, so it's not really an issue. Understood. We'll see that she's prepared and ready to fly. If anything happens, just let me know via Link Pearl. Be on your guard, my friends. The enemy can be anywhere. Oh, God. Alright, let's get moving. I am highly curious as to what this... Uh, reconditioning... Oh, it's a Minder. Haha, <laughs> that's... That's a thing. What's the repository got? It looks like a suppository, so probably nothing sanitary. Uh, Adamantite Greatsword, item level 150. And armor. Circlet Offending. Adamant Lorica Offending. Oh, it's the fucking... It's the Noct set that's been reskinned for level 60. That's so lame. That's not even remotely cool. You guys suck. Sterilization node. Ah, I'm gonna stay away from that. Thank you. Kinda wanna make babies in the future. Um, where the hell am I going? Right there. How do I even get there? What? I guess I go this way. Jesus. Thank you all for watching, peeps. If you liked the video, please click that like button, and if you want to see more content from me, your host, Zad19, be sure to click that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!